Yeah, the, the preparation process for this looked a little bit different because I performed an original song tonight. Uh, whereas in the voice I would be doing a cover song. So that process, you know, this is a song I wrote myself. I took it into the studio. We tracked vocals many different times to get them exactly right. I worked with different producers and songwriters to sort of bring the song to life and get it where it needed to be um, for the epic performance that happened tonight. So that process was definitely different. It was a lot of work and collaborative effort between myself and the music department here on the show and other creatives as well that I think ended up sort of marrying beautifully and creating this song Sparrow, which I love so much and I'm so proud of. The, the caliber of talent is so widespread on the show. You know, we have artists that are just starting out. We have legacy artists that have been doing this in the industry for many years. And then we have so many different genres and different places represented that I had no idea what to expect. Um, and of course, I'm so honored and grateful. And I do consider this a win for my home state of Kentucky, which I'm so proud to represent. You know, I don't know if you realize this, but it's been seven years since I was on The Voice, which is just wild. And it honestly feels like more because the last two years have felt like five years themselves. <laughs> so it's been quite a long time. And it's, there's been quite a lot that's happened since then. But coming off of that show, you know, I felt like I was being shot out of a cannon. So much was coming at me. I was making full-length records. Um, I did two full-length records in a year. I was doing tours. I was, you know, in the studio constantly. I came back to The Voice multiple times to participate in the show and be a mentor or perform. So there was just so much going on that um, I really had to discover who I was as an artist very quickly. Um, you know, The Voice obviously is an amazing show that gives you an incredible platform, but that was really where the hard work began. And so I spent the last seven years figuring out who I was as an artist, um, especially as a songwriter, which I think really came into play when it came to this show specifically. So it's been quite the journey. And then the inspiration behind Sparrow, honestly, I woke up one morning and I just sort of had this concept in my mind uh, for a song like this. And I went upstairs to my writing room. It was about seven in the morning. My wife was getting ready for work. And I went upstairs to my writing room in my house. And I just wrote this song in about six or seven minutes from start to finish, all the chords, everything. And I think it's one of those moments where it doesn't necessarily come from you. It just sort of comes through you. <laughs> You're just a vessel sort of for, for what happens. And I think the inspiration comes from just where we've all been the last couple of years, honestly. I knew I was going to be representing Kentucky and I wanted a song that demonstrated the resiliency and the power of the people there and the strength of the people there. And then I wanted something that would sort of lift all of us and give us hope and inspiration from the last couple of years of everything we've been through. So uh, hopefully that performance tonight was able to, to do that. I know it lifted and moved me in the moment. The thing about this show is that it doesn't feel like it's necessarily about me. It feels like it's about my home state and about my people. And whenever I heard about the opportunity, I felt a responsibility to come on the show to um, just sort of turn the spotlight onto the people that have made me who I am and that have been so supportive of me from my time on The Voice, even, even as a kid growing up there, um, they've been so incredible and so supportive. And I believe they're some of the best people in the world. They would do anything for you. They're resilient, they're strong, they're giving, they're warm and um, they don't always have the best light on them <laughs> and they always, aren't always seen for how incredible that they are. So this was a huge opportunity for me to represent Kentucky in my home and, and make those people proud and uh, bring attention to what I believe is the best state in the country. And so it didn't really feel like it was about me. It felt like it was about that. And then it felt like it was about the message, the message of hope and, and inspiration that I knew that I could bring through the music that I think people need right now.